when I first moved to town, April 1st, 18, 1978. Five-digit telephone dialing ended in town. The company required all seven digits when making local calls. Uh, they had installed a new $9.5 million electronic switching system in their downtown office, and touch tones were available for the first time in Battle Creek. And that definitely yeah. takes me back to my yeah. late grandfather oh, yeah. working for Mom yeah. Bell. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and to end up real quick, this is, of course, April Fool's weekend. And uh, this, is, this, this one's got a wonderful history. It started out in 16th century France. At the start of the new year, it was observed on April 1st. And was celebrated like we do now at parties and dancing and so on and so forth. But then in 1562, Pope Gregory introduced a new calendar, which turned everything upside down. And New Year's fell on January 1st. Well, this was quite an adjustment. There were some people who didn't, who conservative, didn't like, didn't like the new system, didn't believe in it, hadn't heard about it, whatever, and continued to celebrate New Year's on April 1st. Now, people thought this was pretty funny. They played tricks on these diehards and called them April's fools. Mm -hmm. Sent them on fool's errands, tried to make them believe that something false was true, and all the standard April Fool's stuff was born back in 1562. Mm -hmm. But my favorite part of it all is the quote, I'll end with a quote from Mark Twain. Oh. Hi there. The first of April is the day we remember what we are, thus the other 364 days of the year. <laughs> so enjoy your April Fool's on Sunday, and think of Mark Twain. Absolutely, and of course this year the extra day in the wheat year, so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, got to double whammy this year. <laughs> yes, we did. Hey, thank you very much, Mary, and of course we'll see you back next week with more History in Battle Creek. Look forward to it. Thank you. You bet. Bye-bye.